welcome to the vlog. Hi. Hello. We're Jal and Tony making new memories. We're out. Yes. Yes. We've made yes. it. Ooh. And how long for? Could it just be one night? Hopefully <laughs> not. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so we didn't film us leaving because we've already done that. Um, although, to be perfectly honest, we've come a different way. Uh, we've now moored up a creek. Uh, we didn't film anything this morning when we left because it was so windy, blustery and wet. He needed two hands on the tiller basically. Yeah, can't, can't operate a camera and the tiller at the same time. And um, yeah, it was a little bit windy to say the least. Yeah. And I'm not qualified with the camera yet, I'm just <laughs> setting up things. You're the assistant, she's the camera <laughs> assistant. Yeah. She can do tripods, switch things on. Um, so yeah, we've moored up uh, opposite Crick Marina. Looks really nice as well. Yeah, it's a very nice marina. We've been past Yelvertoft. That's a nice little marina as well. Um, but yes, uh, it's now clear weather-wise, although there is a few grey clouds up above. This week the weather is all supposed to be much of the same. Wind, rain, um, not very good for cruising. We not, don't care, we don't Not very good care. for filming either, but we don't care. We'll carry on regardless. So tomorrow, we will have the Crick Tunnel, um, closely followed by a little trip to Braunston. Whether we get through the tunnel at Braunston or not, I have no idea. We'll obviously try and film tomorrow. I'll get the cameras going in the morning. Um, That's if you wake up early enough. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck in the marina. He's been lying in till like 10 o'clock. Oh, we get all the jobs done. We emptied the <laughs> toilet, filled the water up, so we've got all that done. But okay, yeah. All the domestic jobs. Um, so yeah, we've done all that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to our first night on board. Um, just a quick update. Don't want to leave it too long because I know you want to look at the cruise in and watch all that. Um, quick update because a lot of people have asked, what's happening with um, the dreaded generator. generator? Well, the marina at North Kilworth, the guys there are really good, tried their best. Um, with the best will in the world, it's quite a specialist job and the only solution that they could uh, come up with was would be to take it out Chuck and, it. and yeah, <laughs> start again no. um, uh, is to take it out and send it to a specialist for repairing I want to chuck it <laughs> however the beauty of belonging to a boat owners club which we now do because we are now members of the Goldsboro Boat Owners Club is that there are still people out there who remember this particular boat and, and more, worked on it worked on it and more importantly know the engine and the generator um, and he is the man, Ian, who runs Knoll Hall Wharf, which is obviously where the boat was built. And we are heading that way just to say hello anyway. And we were heading that way because we wanted to show you the wharf and do a bit of history about boat building there, etc, etc. Not that this is a history channel, but just to give you a bit of boat history and canal boat history and what happened at Knoll all those years ago. Um, but it just so happened that Ian um, has very kindly said let me know where you are on the way. I'll come and diagnose the problem. He does think it's um, definitely electronic. Isn't most things these days. Um, and of course, electronic means... Loads of money. <laughs> and boat. Well, we know what boat stands for. Bring out another thousand. <laughs> Why did you get that? <laughs> Did you just bring... make that up? No, no, that's a, sta that's a narrow boat saying, isn't it, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Boat, bring out another thousand. So if you own one of these, make sure you've got deep line pockets. Yeah, but I'll just name the boat so it's going to be constant. Exactly. <laughs> they bring out of a thousand. <laughs> anyway, oh, so God. Ian is going to have a look at it somewhere en route uh, to Knoll with the hopeful uh, chance that he might be able to order a new part. And by the time we get to Knoll, he'll have it. We can have it fitted and we get the generator running because at the moment, what we can't do is run anything that's 240 volts. The biggest thing we've got uh, because our washing machine. is the washing machine. And before you ask, yes, we do have an inverter, but it is only one kilowatt. So it isn't enough to power a washing machine. It's just enough to power like laptops, phone chargers and all that sort of stuff. Um, but they run, to be, to be honest, off 12 volt anyway. Um, so it's getting a little bit windy. <laughs> we shall see you in the morning. Bye.
morning, everybody. Oh, morning. <laughs> we're underway. Um, we we're moored outside Crick Marina, as you know, and we're now heading for Crick Tunnel. So for those with a nervous disposition, fast forward this bit. <laughs> um, never been through here before. Our friends Lorraine and Peter, who are on Skew Whiff, that's the name of the boat, they don't steer Skew Whiff, um, are in front of us. We're heading for Norton Junction, which is where we'll moor up tonight, because I don't think we're going to get to Braunston. It's going to um, rain anyway this afternoon. Yeah, so. so although the weather looks nice and sunny at the moment, uh, we've got rain forecast for later, so we can get to Norton Junction and moor up there whilst we're dry. I'm just going to put the lights on. So we're going to put the tunnel lights on. I'll turn the camera around and you can get a um, bird's eye view. Not sure of the um, dimensions of Crick Tunnel, but I'm sure I'll be putting them up on the screen. And a little bit of history. over to the right, two boats can pass and you try and keep a straight line bearing in mind tunnels are never straight Luckily I got my hat on, so I just felt a drop on my hat. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And then there's a bridge. Oh yeah, lovely water. Thank you. Back out again.
of rumbling in the background. That's the... Um... My stomach. <laughs> Are you hungry? That's the M1. The M1 is uh, a major motorway that runs from London in the south all the way up to Leeds, up in the north. We actually go past a services on the motorway called Watford Gap. Obviously we're heading for Watford Locks and Watford Gap is a services. And from what I can remember from my history lesson, it's called Watford Gap because of the gaps in between the hills. Somebody might correct me or if I'm wrong. Um, so yes, it's interesting that you've got a canal, you'll have a railway and you've got a motorway all running side by side almost. But yeah, we're going to be heading now up towards the first lock at Watford Locks. I think we're going to take on water first and empty the rubbish. The domestic chores. Ooh, just going under a bridge. Ooh. Yeah, you got some domestic chores to do first. Look at me steering. <laughs> Look, she's there. <laughs> Sorry, you're a bit low. <laughs> I know. She's on the back deck. Um, if I can get you down, I'll get you down, darling. Hold on. Just wait there. Look, I'll find you. Count. There we go. Look, you see. Look, there she is. There she is. <laughs> She's nearly, she's nearly in the water. In fact, you could be water skiing, could you? <laughs> You're standing on my block. Oh, I'm standing on the block, yes. The fun and joys of a trad stern. Rainstorm then, so didn't film anything. We got wet. Nice. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, but we're still on the way. It's a bit windy, would you say? Yeah, definitely windy. Cloudy. It looks like there's going to be another rainstorm. We're hoping that we can moor up before the next big rainstorm comes. But um, yeah, we're taking it easy. Jan's doing well on the tiller. We've got a fender down. Oh. Very cleverly, the boat in front. Hmm. Very cleverly, when the heavens opened, they stopped under a bridge, a railway bridge, and they were as dry as anything. At least Tony told me to go indoors, so I'm not too bad, but he got sopping wet. I'm a big drip. Oh, what's this marina?
Well, here we are. We've moored up. The sun's out. And of course, typically, the last bit we wanted to film was us turning at Norton Junction and mooring up. But we couldn't because it was absolutely tipping it down. That was a crazy turn. Crazy turn. With so a beautiful weeping willow <laughs> halfway across the canal. 90 degree turn into a weeping willow, yes. We did it, but obviously we stopped before the turn. He chickened out. No, 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 I didn't chicken out. <laughs> I waited until the weather had calmed down a bit and that we could turn right. <laughs> anyway, we're here now at um, not just past Norton Junction on the way to Braunston. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for all you new subscribers coming in. And Thank thanks, you. Thanks for all the comments. We love comments and we do reply to them. Now we're on the move. Hopefully we should be able to get internet reception and we'll be able to reply to all your comments eventually. So don't have a go at us if we're not too swift on the ball, but we will get back to you. Don't forget, we're on social media as well. All the links are on the thing at the back end of the vlog and also in the description. Um, thank you all our Patreons and thank you to our two new patrons. Who, Over to you. Who are Ren Enshu, or is that Ensho? He, There's no N in it. Okay. Ren. Ren oh, that's what I was thinking. It's of either Ishu or Ishu. We apologise if we've uh, um, pronounced it wrong. Yeah, sorry about I'm that. I'm sure somebody will put us right. Ren Eshu. Eshu. Yeah. Okay, don't make a big thing of it. Okay. But and thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much, Ren. Thank you. We have met you before. Um, I know we met you at um, North Kilworth. And also to Kate Lopez. Thank you very much, Kate. It's very international, isn't it? Yeah. Lopez and S O yeah yeah E S H O yes anyway thank you and if you want to join them and get a few perks now and again then uh, the link again to our Patreon is in the description below in the meantime thumbs up for a like if you've enjoyed our first proper cruising vlog <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed why not then press the subscribe button don't forget to press the bell icon ding and YouTube will notify you next time we upload a vlog. In the meantime, stay safe. Happy cruising, everybody. Bye. Bye.